Okay, here they are. Beautiful. So these are the owls that we've made on our six week course. Some of them have been done very realistically and others are more stylized. And the clay we use is the pink grog because it's very good for sculpting. We did tiny little maquettes first so we could get all the different processes and then we did the big ones. To it, to woo! So they've all got different poses, but generally they're a 45 degree angle because that means you can make them nice and straight. The white on them is slip, which we put on at the clay stage. There's some here that have not been in the biscuit fire yet, so these are waiting to go in next for the biscuit firing with the white slip on them. And then that will continue to be a nice light mixture. When we put the oxide on next and they go back in the kiln, uh, the white areas will show up. Here come the biggies, woohoo! That's the detail on that. So we've made them in a series of body parts. We did the body, the wings, the head, and then brought it all together. So they are hollow, they're still quite weighty. Good, aren't they? It's good they're all different. Yeah, it's good they're all different. They sort of start the same principles, but <clears throat> then the scope for you to sort of personalise. Yeah, if they've done a bit of highlighting the face shape, it's worked really nicely and the feathers and some people really went to town on the the rock or the um, branch that they're sitting on. A lot of these are beginners aren't they? Yeah yeah not bad for six weeks worth of six two hour sessions but yeah as you say a lot of them have not sculptured before. Epic. What we need to know is what the collective noun for a group of owls is. Yeah. The police are going to come in tomorrow and see. They're really delighted. Yeah, these people are coming in the next six week course, which is a uh, coiling technique. So they'll be <clears throat> seeing a work in progress at the last project. Oh yeah, this one's Harry Potter, has got a stack of books underneath it. Very nice. It's got a lovely um, facial expression. Barn owls often have a heart shaped face. That one's got purposeful look in its eye. Oh, here's another Harry Potter. Type one with the books and everything and everything. So the next stage for these people is to we'll apply oxides and a bit of glaze on the eyes and then next time you look at them they'll all be good to go and they can go and live in people's houses. Oh yeah, look there one. Oh that's great. Isn't it? So yeah, people had a little bit of spare time at the end, some of them made it lyle brooches. Again, um, same sort of theme, but stylized. Fabulous! Drop them. <laughs>